introduce the panel. People like on today's panel are the reason that I have the reputation I have. They have made me, talent like this has made me look good my whole career. Starting with Bob Orsi and Alex Kurtz. <laughs> You know they're a great writing producing team. They were associated with this couple of little movies called Transformers. Yeah. They of course they did Hercules and Xena, which I thought was a lot of fun television. They were executive producers of Alias, screenwriters for Mission Impossible 3 and The Legend of Zorro, and one of my favorite movies, Star Trek. our new Transformer series. Next to them is Jeff Klein. Jeff Klein is another type of talent that many people are talking about. One of the things I'm often struck about Jeff and people like Jeff is their passion for excellence, their passion for the product. product. <coughs> Jeff's done a lot of shows that I thought were terrific. Men in Black, Jack, Jack Chan Adventures, Star Trek Troopers, Roughneck. So he is now the executive producer on Transformers, also on G.I. Joe. So he's doing a Dave Hartman, what a wonderful director. involved with this little movie called Bubba Hotep. Anybody <laughs> <laughs> special effects. And then Jose Lopez, Jose Gracia. <laughs> designer. We're very lucky to have him. He gets a lot of critical praise, I think most recently, for uh, the Green Lantern. <laughs> and one of my favorites, and I don't say this to anybody because it's on another network with Generator Rex. I thought he did a great job. <laughs> Again, he works with Jeff on Men in Black and Jackie Chan. We're very happy to have him. And Mike Vogel. Mike? Yeah, Mike. Studios, which I have to say, Hasbro has made a major commitment to build this animation company. They're doing a fantastic job for us. They really put together a very talented team of people, first-rate talent, and uh, they brought in Mike to run Boy Toys and do the sh not Boy Toys. <laughs> No, you Maybe didn't. Uh -huh. show is based That's on toys that's going to ruin the children of America. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are. Very imaginative and obviously robust and happy. So Mike, we're very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Previously, Mike was with uh, Kids WB, where he worked on Spider-Man, and he also worked on Sony with the group here. So this is a wonderful panel. Oh, I forgot Aaron over here. Oh. Aaron, I shouldn't own it. The group, the creative group that has grown, developing a lot of IP and properties. But but what we refer to him as the keeper of lore. So Aaron is here to keep us honest and to explain what we might not know. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm thrilled that you're all here and fans of Transformer. It to this day remains one of my favorite projects. I worked with Hasbro 25 years ago on the first incarnation. I'm delighted to have it on the hub, and we think it's a real winner. Thank you very Good much. Job. She's so awesome. <laughs> um, all right, so we're just going to get right into this. Um, let's see. What's the big idea behind Transformers Prime? <laughs> wait, 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 I forgot to introduce her name. No, you didn't. 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 
This is nuts! Alright, what's the big idea behind Transformers Prime? Transformers! Uh, uh, hi! Hi! Thanks for coming. Um, we grew up on G1. Uh, we would come home from school, make a sandwich, and watch G1. Oh, and so, that was... Oh, friend. Um, that was really a huge part of why we wanted to get into the movies in the first place, but the opportunity to actually do a cartoon and to bring to a whole new generation of kids what we got to experience as kids was absolutely the reason to do it. The other uh, big uh, idea for us was to really dig into the robot mythology, which we could not do as much in the movies because the movies have a certain pace and you know, for a whole bunch of reasons you, you don't have as much time. Um, so the idea that we got to really dig into the characters, to make the robots the central characters of the, of the show, um, to talk about backstory, to talk about their histories, to have them meet a new set of humans, uh, it just felt like an opportunity that we all had to jump into. So what's different about this series than any other Transformers show? <laughs> uh, I think one of the core differences, and probably the number one reason I'm involved, is these guys. Uh, first of Marcy, who, uh, when I first heard that there was going to be a new Transformers series that were going to be involved, my assumption was they would be involved sort of in name only, uh, which happens quite a bit, and that is not the case. In fact, they are deeply and, and, and emotionally involved in the show. Uh, uh, I would say... Can I cry? <laughs> crying. Uh, I would say one of, the, uh, one of the bigger differences between this show and, and previous incarnations is, of course, the technology that we have now to produce a show is substantially different than it was maybe 25 years ago. This is an all-CG uh, world that we're dealing with. Um, we are, uh, as Alex said, trying to dig into even more than past series have done, the mythology, the relationships, the history of these characters, and take advantage of the fact that the rules have changed a little bit with television, and now when you tell a continuing story, when a character gets hurt in one episode, he or she is still hurt in the next episode. There's ramifications to every action. Um, and for us, the ability to kind of tell an ongoing tale from an uh, emotional standpoint and a storytelling standpoint is pretty exciting. So um, it looks different, and chances are you're going to feel like the stories are, uh, are at least more, um, I don't want to say more adult because we're writing it so that it appeals to everyone, but there's definitely a level of sophistication to it that is a little different than what's been in the past. You mentioned that um, there's a whole new generation of humans in the show. How do humans play into this world of Autobots and Decepticons? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> well, there are robots in disguise, so they definitely have to have somebody to hide from. <laughs> um, the humans uh, are the point of view of the audience, but one of the things that Alex was saying that we couldn't do in the movies is for, for the limitations in terms of time and budget is uh, they're very separated in the movies, anyway, and in the show they become um, partners in a way, so that you're you're, any time you're spending with the humans, it's also some time you're spending with the Transformers, and time that you're seeing them, not only as characters themselves, but through the point of view of if you were living with them. So there's, a, in a sense, avatars for all of us who are interacting with the Transformers. I think another thing that makes it different, as you were saying, is that we have now the benefit, thanks to the lore, of all of the experiences that have come before on Transformers. We, it is now our duty of, to have learned from what worked about Transformers before and what didn't. And so hopefully we are the latest incarnation of what works best about it and what hasn't. And part of that you can talk about is, is how much the lore has been uh, uh, cataloged in such a way that we now, I think, really have... 350 been... pages. When you start working for Hasbro, you get a book about 300 pages with the lore of Transform. So the world is now very, very... <laughs> it's very, 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 it's very exciting. <laughs> 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 and they read it cover to cover. So if you would open your Bible to page 31. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we should probably talk a little conceptually what the series is about. Yeah. Um, I was so, just going to ask you, you know, where does it fit in, in the continuity? Is this is this related to any other previous generation? Is it its own thing? Can you talk about that. I, I think for all of us, it is related in the way that all Transformers are sort of interrelated. But uh, for us, it, it kicks off now. It kicks off present day. We sort of postulate that maybe in a couple of years since the movie. Um, the Earth has been relatively quiet. There's a small group of uh, Autobots who have stayed behind to sort of guard Earth just in case something else happens. Uh, which, of course, spoiler, something else happens. Uh, I didn't know they were going to say that. <laughs> Led by Megatron. Uh, so the, uh, uh, but it, 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 you know, for us, 
uh, one of the big things we wanted to get to is this idea that the Autobots on Earth are sort of men without a home, women without a home. Their planet is uninhabitable. They can't return to Cybertron. Um, how do they sort of make a life on this planet? They feel somewhat responsible for what's happened and what may happen to Earth. So they feel protective of Earth to a degree. They end up with a relationship with uh, three humans in particular. We'll get into it a little bit uh, before, we, before we show some clips. Um, but really for us, it's sort of what do you, what do, you do when you're stranded? Um, how, do you, how do you live on someone else's planet? And what does that mean? So. Uh, and, and obviously, um, uh, we aren't just dealing with Megatron, we're bringing back a lot of uh, Decepticons, um, and there's also those out there who haven't committed to one side or the other yet. So. Well, you're, you're kind of teasing these guys. I mean, <laughs> let's talk about the look of these robots that we've been vaguely talking about, maybe look at some of them? You want to look at some of them? Yeah. Dave, would you like to talk about the look and how they inspired? Yes, can you hear me? Yep. Um, so, where we initially... Don't go there yet. Don't go there! What are you doing? There's Autobots in the show. A birdie. Just as a general look at the show, um, much like when we did Starship Troopers uh, with Jeff Klein, uh, Try to keep things stylized. You don't want to get the, the look too real, where you get that kind of weird. Uh, okay. kind of like, yeah. Uh, where, where a human character looks too fantasy. real and sort of a little creepy, oh, okay. yeah. especially across the post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we brought Jose in. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, who is real? Yeah. I am real, but my cross are Yeah. Um, but for the actual look, we're, we're going for a more cinematic feel, I think, uh, than anything. Um, one thing my experience dealing with CGI before is when we, we like CG elements. It's usually you build a rig, a light set, and then you place your characters in there. You don't have time on a television budget to actually light like you would live action, where you're lighting for the shot itself. So that is one thing we're pushing a lot. I want to light for the shot. You want to have atmosphere, fog, you know, seeing these bots come out with dark, glowing eyes fog everywhere, shooting blasters. It's going to look pretty amazing. When, 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 you, <laughs> when you, you know, set out and say, okay, look, we're going we're gonna to design Megatron because somebody's got a big mouth. Um, when you design Megatron, what do you do first? You figure out the, the bot, you figure out his vehicle mode, what do you do first? Favorite color, his favorite food. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I can say for this series, uh, the starting point was G1. Every time we had to sit down and look and start designing the character, it was okay. What what did those guys do at G1? What did we love? And what do we love about it? What are the all the you know iconic elements? You know, uh, they show Megatron at BotCon and people that saw it went to the forums and they're like, the bucket hit his back. Yes. Yes. So yeah. 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 We try to bring you know all the iconic elements, like I said, but give it a fresh twist. Uh, you know and. Going back to CGI, CGI is really opening the door, really allowing us to mess around with 